This is an electric pencil sharpener that doesn't work anymore. Well, it kind of does, but it doesn't. It's interesting. Let me show you what it does. You grab a pencil and push in the chip tray. Put the pencil in. It's running and it's whirring, but interestingly, the pencil is, it doesn't need to be held. It's not being rotated and more importantly, it's not being sharpened. So there's nothing in the shavings tray or chip tray here. So it still works but it just doesn't sharpen the pencil. So in this video I'll explain what exactly is going on inside this pencil sharpener. I'll take it apart and we'll show you what component actually failed in it. It's a critical small component that's made out of the wrong material. It's a pinion gear or drive gear fitted to the end of the motor that's working in it and the manufacturer made the conscious decision that it be made out of plastic. It broke in half. So, the part is unavailable. You cannot order it. It's not, list, not even listed as an available part number. It's not even a part number. There never was an intention that this be available as a part, available for a replacement part or purchase. So, it's a throwaway item. It was made to fail. It was consciously decided that it be made in this manner. So let's take it apart quickly. I have removed some of the screws from the bottom. Oh, sorry. Let's start at the beginning. This is a Staples branded electric pencil sharpener that has a model number on the nameplate here. Its model number is 34462 and it's been proudly made in China. Well, where it's made it's not, it's not a problem. The problem is that plastics dimensionally are unstable and change over time. Usually they shrink and as they shrink they split or deform or warp or twist. So that's exactly what's happening here. So you take out the four screws on the bottom and two of these small rubber feet and the housing comes away but the housing that's two important wires there one blue one red and what you see inside here actually I for safety's sake because now everything is live I'm going to disconnect it so let me explain here what you see here very briefly power is coming in through the cord here and goes to this transformer unit. This is an AC-DC transformer, very plain everyday item. This is multi-win and the other line that you can see there is 1000 milliamps, that's what it says on it there. The rest of it you can reasonably read. So that's a transformer that works flawlessly. An important feature here at this point that I want to point out is this switch. There is a micro switch here that gets activated by this projection here on the chip tray. If you listen to it, the micro switch here makes a clicking sound. And that's one of the switches and another switch will be in this upper part here activated by the pencil so both switches the one activated by the pencil and the one activated by the tray need to close need to be closed for the electric path to complete the circuit and without either of these switches either this micro switch here or the other one I'm going to dig out it wouldn't work so but the switches are flawless because the motor is powered so I'm going to take out these four screws here, one, two, three, and four. So I'm taking out the last two screws here, just the quickie way, like so. With this screw gun, and in this position here, the whole motor and everything assembly just slides out of the housing, just like so. So this is how they are located under the housing and inside the unit when it's all built together, something like that would be the idea. 
what you see here is uh, the switch is at the front and let me just show you quickly how this works we'll get to that gear in a sec the pencil is pushed into it you can see a copper plate here above the gate here the pencil gate so this copper plate here is just a spring plate to close this gate here and the other one has a double function it's both closing this pencil gate as well as you can see wires soldered to it and in this position it is open you can see a huge gap right around there so when a pencil is pushed in here the opening of this plastic gate closes this switch therefore provides a path for electricity to flow and the motor here being powered so that switch is fine and the motor here can be accessed by removing three six screws yeah six of them so I'm gonna get them very quickly out there just like so and here underneath here is the transmission or this is the gearbox here so this is the motor and the gearbox is here where the plastic gears are nice six screws are out and let's see here the moment of truth this is how the gears look like and this is the one gear that's split in half. I'm going to take it off the motor shaft in just a sec but I want to show you how the rest of them work and that they are fully functional. When, when the gear box house halves are together you can see that this small pinion and you can see a dark graphite line on it that's where it failed and split you can see this is how they go together and in this position this gear is about here at the hmm, 11 o'clock position on this gear here okay I hope that 11 o'clock position makes sense so I spin the whole gear train in this manner at about the 11 o'clock position and you can see on the underside that there is rotation and the metal cylinder there that has this helical cut sharpening surface on it is fully functional in terms of its rotating so it is able to sharpen the pencil as long as the gear here is driven but it doesn't get driven here because like I said this little guy here failed I'm going to take it off the motor shaft and we'll get to see where that crack is on it it is tiny so bear with me I'm gonna try to hold it with this tweezer here tweezers and you can see that it it's it's greasy but you can see a dark line on it running there between the gear teeth and if I spin it around a little bit you can see that dark that the dark graphite line continues to the inside of this small gear which means this whole thing is cracked in this position how you look at it at exactly the 12 o'clock position it cracked along the, its entire length otherwise the gear teeth are fine meaning they are intact enough but the whole thing split along its length and when the motor spins this one is not spinning on it and is not transmitting drive to the rest of the gear train so this is the part that's unavailable this is the part that should be replaced if you find something made out of metal you might be able to rebuild it and make it functional because nothing else failed in it and one last item that I want to show you is that the drive shaft here on the motor is if we just get closer to the camera is a splined shaft 
or has some vertical ribs on it. Let me just lower this camera a little bit here to get closer to my hand. And there you can see the splines on the shaft which run in this direction like so. His vertical ribs or kind of vertical. I'll try to make it vertical there. Okay. So that's what's wrong with this pencil sharpener and this is why I said this whole item was made to fail on account of this tiny tiny part the whole thing is basically a throwaway item unless again you can remake this small gear